Hey everyone, welcome to Dev Runner. My name is Paul. I'm an endurance runner and an RRCA certified running coach. And this is episode number three of my half marathon PR 2022 edition. In this series, I am documenting my training as I work toward a one hour, 19 minute and 37 second or faster half marathon attempt, which will take place at the Mayberry Half Marathon in Mount Airy, North Carolina on November 12th. This week, I will be talking about my training from August 8th through the 14th of 2022. It was kind of a different week, sort of a built-in mini taper in the back half of the week in preparation for a 5K time trial, which I ran with my friend, Michael Bartlett, who was training for the same race. We did that down in South Carolina, not to try to run our best 5K, especially in this North Carolina heat and humidity here in the dog days of summer. But uh, just to make sure that we can handle 3.1 miles at our intended half marathon paces. So I encourage you to stay tuned for that little bit of an excitement toward the end of this video. All right, folks, I've got plenty of tips and tricks to help you become a faster, stronger, and healthier runner in this one. So please stick around. Here we go. Hey look, it's a turd candle. Hey, wouldn't that be a flaming pie? Oh my goodness. John Lennon is here with me in spirit somehow. Well, folks, it's Monday, August 8th, 2022. I just finished seven miles. The slowest recovery run I've ever had. It took me an hour and 11 minutes. Averaged like 10, 11 per mile. Now, the reason for that is it is uh, currently 89 degrees. 92% humidity. Yesterday was a 16 mile long run in the heat and I lifted my weights, my free weights, full body routine today before I ran. So that was mistake number one, but it was the only opportunity I had. I had some time between some meetings at work, so I took the opportunity to lift the weights and my running performance suffered hugely as a result. However, I got everything done. And ultimately, that's important. I would never do the weightlifting before like a speed day and completely destroy a speed workout. But uh, for an easy recovery day, you know, it is what it is. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, August 10th, 2022. I just finished a 10 mile aerobic progression run on the treadmill. When I got home from work, it was uh, storming, lightning, thunder, you know, the full North Carolina summertime package. So I uh, decided it was uh, much smarter and much safer to do this indoors. I started out really slow at six miles an hour and every eighth of a mile, I bumped it up by a 10th of a mile per hour and uh, slowly worked my way up until I finished the last couple of miles at like 8.1 or 8.2 miles an hour. So uh, nothing incredible, but kept it aerobic. And it took me an hour, 18 minutes and 47 seconds to get the job done. Um, my left hamstring, lower down uh, near the back of my knee um, is swelled up a little bit. I think I probably did that uh, during my deadlifts or my squats on Monday, so, uh, you know, keeping an eye on that. Um, I will do a workout tomorrow uh, with the weights and uh, just kind of monitor it. If I need to lower the weights on the bar, then uh, I'll do that because I'd much rather, you know, <laughs> be able to keep on uh, keeping on instead of injuring myself. 
Hey everyone, it's Thursday, August 11th, 2022. I just finished a seven mile easy run, recovery run on the treadmill. Took me one hour, one minute and six seconds to get the job done. Uh, pretty much cruised at uh, exactly seven miles per hour and uh, lost a few uh, seconds here and there to ramping up at the beginning and uh, kind of uh, getting up to speed. Um, as you can see, Calvin's having fun licking his toes and the couch. <laughs> um, yeah, he's 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 uh, trying to get away with something because he knows I'm busy talking to the camera. <laughs> anyway, folks, um, yeah, I'm tired. The uh, back of the leg is still hurting a little bit, so uh, I may resort to some ibuprofen tonight. Hey, everyone. It's Friday, August 12th, 2022. I just finished three miles easy on the treadmill just kind of a little uh shakeout run before tomorrow's 5k time trial just trying to take it easy i was originally talking about going seven but that's not going to serve any purpose i'm not just going to run mileage so that i can hit a number at the end of the week i think it's much smarter just to do what you do before a time trial or a race and uh, just keep your legs loose but uh, don't stress them too much so it is uh, 4.30 in the afternoon now. My plan is to get an early dinner, get to bed early, because I've got a long trip down to South Carolina. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the track. I'm here in Clover, South Carolina. I came down here to run a 5K time trial just to uh, explore where my fitness is right now at the beginning of this half marathon training cycle. I came down here to meet Michael Bartlett, my uh, longtime partner in crime here when it comes to uh, distance running, racing, and time trialing over the last couple of years. So uh, we're about ready to get underway. We just uh, finished a pre-dawn three-mile run, did some sprints on the track to kind of warm ourselves up. I don't think either one of us plans on killing ourselves today. We just want to make sure that we are within the acceptable limits for uh, pacing to uh, be able to possibly hit our intended half marathon times on November 12th. So I don't think you're going to see either one of us sort of pushing our limits, redlining today. It's just going to be uh, making sure we can hold tempo pace, which of course is faster than half marathon pace, so that we can go forward with confidence and we'll check in. In a month, maybe six weeks with a 10K time trial. We may even revert back to a 5K time trial before we actually uh, go into the final taper. That's neither here nor there right now. Here's the man of the hour approaching behind me. I'll give him an opportunity to say hello to y'all before we get underway. The uh, temperatures are rising very quickly now that the sun is about to peak over the horizon. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Good morning. I'm good. Back again. Yes. We're not going to kill ourselves today, though. Exactly. Have a nice little baseline run to see where we're at. Well said, sir. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, I'm going to set the camera on a tripod where the finish line is going to be. All right, folks. Hopefully you can see me. Hopefully you can hear me. This is the finish line. We'll come through after the first half lap, and then it'll be 12 more times around for the finish. Thanks for being with us. Half lap, 45 seconds. Fifty-one. Two seventeen. Two two thirty-five. Two forty-nine. Four twenty. Five forty. Watch this up. Three. 
There it is. 5K baseline time trial. 19 minutes on the nose. 19 minutes, 0. 0.52 seconds. <laughs> it's hot. It's super muggy. It's 64 degrees when we started this. And uh, the humidity is over 85%. It's just horrible. My glasses are fogged up. But uh, yeah, not bad. Like I said, I was obviously not gunning for a 5K PR. Just wanted to make sure I was within the realms of possibility for a uh, 5K. Here comes Michael on lap 11 and a half right here. He's got one more to go. 2012. Keep going, buddy. All right, folks, I'm gonna pick up this camera. Here he comes. Final 100 meters. Go, 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 go. You got this. Here he comes. Looking strong, looking strong in the heat. There it is. How'd you do, sir? 21.53. Rock on. Beautiful run. Beautiful run. All right, folks. I think I can safely say that in the uh, in the heat, in the just unbelievable humidity, I think Michael and I have both proven that we are uh, in a good place for 12, 13 weeks of half marathon training. And uh, by the time we hit Mayberry on November 12th, I think we're going to be in... Uh, pretty rock in shape. I think you're going to see a couple of PRs out of us in a couple of months. Thanks for sticking with us. 16 mile long run tomorrow. See you then. Yeah. Peace out. Hey everyone. It's Sunday, August 14th, 2022. It is about a quarter to nine in the morning. I just finished a 16 miler and uh, it took me two hours and 12 minutes. And uh, I think I averaged somewhere around 816 a mile. And uh, I think this one may have been a negative split. I haven't looked at the stats, obviously. I literally just finished running, so. But uh, I think it might be a slight negative split. Uh, not an incredibly fast run at all, but um, I'm got to say, uh, I'm really proud, really happy with where I'm at after this weekend of running, because uh, obviously you saw it yesterday. I did a time trial and did 10 miles total, and then came right back today and went for my long run. Um, so, you know, kind of stressing myself hard. I started this morning worn out already. My legs were like aching. Uh, I only got about seven hours sleep last night and, uh, I was very active yesterday, even after the 10 miles. So, um, I'm very happy that I was able to bounce back and, uh, get this done. And, uh, my body handled the stress and I felt great. Uh, it definitely doesn't hurt that, uh, it was in the mid sixties for, uh, both runs yesterday and today. So uh, you don't have to deal with that same stress just from getting super overheated in the 90 degree heat. Um, today I was listening to Dr. Peter Atiyah's podcast, The Drive, uh, a great medical discussion about VO2 max. If you don't know about that podcast, um, go, go get it in your podcast player. It's, it's really awesome. Uh, he does everything uh, to do with endurance sports 
general health and really, really deep dives into the uh, medical causes and ramifications of exercise and how to maximize the effects of exercise through nutrition, sleep, you name it. Um, fascinating stuff. If you really want to become a better athlete, uh, it's worth understanding this stuff. So I uh, can't recommend it highly enough. All right, so as you can see from the week in review right there beside me, it was a 60 mile week this week, just kind of maintaining my mileage base for the last three weeks. But the good news is I'm starting to up the intensity and how closely I am packing the intensity together, whether that be from speed or from very long distance runs. I am still suffering from that tweak to my left hamstring, but so long as I'm able to maintain proper form when I'm running, then I will keep going. Uh, the other good news is that, uh, you know, as I was alluding to, after that intense speed on Saturday with a 10 mile total uh, run, I was able to come back Sunday morning and run 16 miles at a decently easy clip and uh, get through it without any issue. So I'm quite happy there. Um, I think the results from the time trial for both me and Michael are promising. I think we both had a uh, very comfortable run maintaining half marathon pace. Mind you, it was on a track, but we did have to contend with heat. So I think uh, it all balances out and uh, it shows that our intentions for the race are not far off at all. I think uh, we can definitely get there so long as we train properly. So all right, folks, I think that's it for the running. As far as my weight training goes, I got in two strength routines with free weights this week. Obviously the first one on Monday, <laughs> I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful with my form, huh? Uh, I did get in all seven of my core routines. And as far as nutrition goes, I'm kind of, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, you know, as far as what I'm actually consuming, uh, there's plenty of healthy stuff, a lot of dark leafy greens, but uh, I'm still consuming too much sugar, if I'm going to be frank with you. Despite that, I did manage to lose half a pound this week, so I'm down to like 142 and a half, something like that. Um, so good news there. I think uh, just the fact that I'm starting to pick up the intensity and uh, from here on out, the mileage will start picking up. Um, so hopefully I can continue with that trend. All right, folks, if there's anything else you would like to learn from these videos, please drop your comments and questions below. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I'd love to have you along for the ride. The more the merrier. And with that, folks, please get healthy, stay strong, and keep pushing. I'll catch you next week. Peace out. Bye-bye.